Hello, Janet Wilson here, founder of Dernia Publishing and the Write for a Reason course. As we're in the holiday season, I thought it would be fun to do a writing tip about journeys. A lot of uh, novels have a journey in them where characters have to get from one place to another, perhaps going through uh, several obstacles on the way. So here are three things that might be helpful for you when you're writing about your journey with your children in them. The first one is how many obstacles will your characters have to face along the way? Sometimes less can be more. So consider carefully, too many crises? Does it get a bit boring? The second thing is, once you've decided how many crises your characters are going to have to face, is the severity of them. Um, perhaps you could think of uh, making them a little bit more stronger, maybe um, uh, if, if you're thinking that somebody might steal something from them, make it more dramatic. Maybe they steal them and beat them up. Uh, maybe if you were thinking of um, them having problems with a, a boat, uh, perhaps getting um, in, in a storm or something like that, maybe they could get shipwrecked and end up on an island with dragons or something like that. And the third point is to consider um, the severity, uh, the increase in severity of your um, obstacles that your characters are going to face. Uh, if you have something that's too dramatic early on, the ending can be a little bit of an anticlimax. But if you gradually build up the severity of the difficulties that your uh, protagonist particularly are going to face, until you get to the end and your readers are thinking, I don't even know if they're going to get there, you keep your readers on the edge of their seats. So there we are, three things to think about with journeys. Uh, how many obstacles, the severity of them, and building up uh, the difficulties. So there we are. I hope that's helpful. Please subscribe to the channel or come over to writeforareason.com and read lots more writing tips there. Thank you very much for watching.